sounds like a great uh, time you guys are having and I know lots of people are actually enjoying the fabulous prizes that you're winning. Many thanks to uh, our sponsors who are actually giving away beautiful prizes. If you are in the city of Kaif, please do join us. We are here at the heart of the uh, heart of Taif Mall, where of course our uh, presenters, our co-presenters, Faiz, Firaz, and Ali, are actually having a great time asking simple questions and giving away great prizes. So do come join us. We'll be going back again to see what else they've been doing. But for the time being, actually, we're again joined with uh, another special guest from the National uh, Wildlife Research Center here in Taif. Isn't that so? Absolutely, uh, Diana. And I mean, it is really, really a privilege for us to be uh, having these unique guests in the program. And they also help us to understand so much about their chosen city True. for the residents who are, have chosen their cities to live in, uh, who are working there, or as well as for the people, the locals of the particular city. And it really, really enriches your experience when you are mingling with the locals or even with the residents. More so you get to know about the city and its beauty. Of course, uh, when we are talking about the Taif city, I could not resist plucking out the, <laughs> like, uh, but picking out, out. <laughs> the beautiful rose, which I am. Something happened to me after smelling this rose. I Actually, think it's a the, fragment of the rose. I think absolutely. So. You would be having lots of roses wherever you are in Saudi Arabia, and you would get to see an assorted collection of local as well as imported roses. But when we talk about the local roses, when you pick the rose out yourself here in the city of Fatayef, you get to see what I am seeing, this true unique beauty, as well as the amazing, amazing fragrance of the flower too. So you have to enjoy this unique experience when you are coming down to the city of Atayf and for the people who are planning to uh, earn some uh, numerous good deeds and rewards during summertime and they plan to visit the city of Makkah al Mukarram Atayf is very close to you. You're going to have a unique spiritual experience in the city of Makkah al Mukarram. But the temperature and the weather is truly different than how you would see it in the Thai city because Mecca is down there and Thai is above on the top of the mountains. So this is a city that you have to come down to. Now on this note, let us move down to a resident of a Thai city who has actually chosen Thai city and who has been living here for a long time by his choice and he has been brought here to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia because of work but he has chosen Taif City as his city to live in. So on this note we are going to be moving on with Mr. Oliver uh, Cope who has been uh, from France into the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for a long time. So Mr. Oliver welcome to the program and first of all before we talk to you about anything else coming from France all the way to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia how do you find the Thai city and the living experience over here? Well, I wouldn't live in another city than Thai in the kingdom because the weather is uh, beautiful, really. Indeed. How close is it to the weather of France? <laughs> well, it's still hotter, of course, than, the, than France, but I used to live in uh, some years of my life in east of France, which is a continental uh, climate. Mm -hmm. And it can be very hot in, in summer also. Right. But uh, here Taif is uh, fantastic really. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you're having a great time. Now you've been here for uh, 15 years. That's right. Yeah. I, I hope 15 beautiful years, sir. And as I believe you are with the audio, uh, visual and graphic department That's at right. uh, the National Wildlife Research Center. And we were just talking to your colleague, Dr. Ahmed, who gave us uh, a great idea about what the center does. Now, first of all, sir, um, your job is very important because it uh, extends to the people what the what the center and what wildlife is in general by uh, audiovisuals and graphics. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do there? Yes, uh, thank you for uh, saying that uh, my job is very important. I hope so because uh, uh, basically my job is uh, support mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for public awareness. Okay. To try to inform and educate the people about uh, their uh, local wildlife, yes. nature, uh -huh. and about the conservation of this uh, natural heritage. Okay, okay. So I'm doing films, Good. Uh -huh. I'm doing pictures, mm -hmm. uh, I'm doing posters, I'm mm -hmm. doing uh, authoring DVDs, I'm uh, right now working, finalizing, I just finalized these days the website for okay. the for the center so the activity is quite uh, large Amazing. especially I'm uh, alone uh -huh. with the assistance of my wife she's working with me Beautiful. and okay. uh, we have uh, a 
library, a photo library to, uh, to manage of about 100,000 uh, pictures. Okay. And I guess, I, I bet this is one of the richest uh, wildlife life photo library mm -hmm. in the whole uh, Middle East for that's Arabian wildlife. That's very interesting. And sir, um, I'm sure you will agree with me when I say that uh, people in general are visual. They like to see things. They like to see pictures, <laughs> sound, interaction. Absolutely. Now, I know, sir, if I have a book about the wildlife, I would not be interested about it as I would be seeing it in a DVD or in an interaction, uh, into some kind of interaction. Now, I, I say your job is very important, sir, because it helps to understand that lots of people. And uh, oh, on that note, sir, we're looking at something that's happening right now. Lots of people enjoying what's happening in uh, Taif, uh, especially here in the mall. But nevertheless, sir, I, I know your job is very important because it helps to uh, let people experience the wildlife as close as they can through graphics. Now, um, what response, uh, or let's say, how do you help people understand life, uh, wildlife through the DVDs, through the posters, through yes. the website that you're actually doing right now? Yes, yes, yes. The idea behind uh, this website, which is a new, new uh, product we are uh, doing at the center, is really to uh, give access to the general public. Okay, good. I mean, uh, international, national, mm -hmm. general, and even uh, researchers and scientists. Okay, good. Uh, because we, we would like to touch a maximum number of uh, people. Yes, yes. Only to get them interested with uh, their wildlife. True. And uh -huh. to be able, in a few minutes, really, mm -hmm. to, as far as they got a, quite a good connection exactly. with internet, but uh, exactly. uh, in a few minutes to have an overview of what we are doing and how, what wonders they have in, in, in uh, Saudi Arabia because we put in the website also uh, exactly. sample of our photo library True, so okay. they can pick up and even download pictures for their, uh, for, nice. for their own. And you're right, you, you, you talk about the importance of the image. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm confident that the, the, the pictures talk much more than uh, yes, yes. any text, yes. especially for uh, the everybody exactly. uh, guys, exactly. you know. Of course, of and course. Uh, so the message we try to uh, embed in all our uh, products, whether they are pictures, posters, uh, mm -hmm. brochures, uh, uh, DVDs, it's it's uh, like the, I mean um, uh, to show how the nature is beautiful here in Saudi Arabia, and to give the envy to uh, to, to to protect it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm protect it True. because there are some issues like yes. everywhere in the world and yes. we need to uh, educate people yes true that's you know. very important and so that's why most of uh, the main target of uh, the films mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, are the children yes that's very important because we believe that the children are the most receptive and will educate their own uh, exactly. parents exactly that's 100 percent true and i believe when you target children because children's minds are so open, they are actually very ready and very easy to uh, let's say, accept so many types of ideas. And I really believe by making a website and by, let's say, preparing so many types of DVD about the different types of wildlife, this can really help uh, raise awareness, doesn't it? Absolutely, Diana. And uh, another thing, uh, Mr. Oliver, that I would like to ask you, now, you being associated closely with photography and me being like a big time photographic enthusiast, I believe that uh, it is really, really special to a lot of people to be taking photographs as to making their uh, trip more memorable and to be capturing the memories and to be taking them home and to be sharing it with their friends and dear loved ones also. So now the people who are photography enthusiasts, which areas would you say in the Thai city would offer the most to them? What would be the most unique areas when it comes to taking, taking photographs? What would be the best locations that you would recommend to the people to take their cameras to? In Thai, well, there is Thai as a city. Uh, so there is one amazing uh, building, which is the Shobra Palace. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's not uh, you don't take picture like this in the in the street, but you can take a picture of the, the, the palace, which I believe is a Shabra palace. Shabra palace. You know, it was built maybe uh, 110 years ago, and uh, King Abdulaziz was using it uh, in the 30s, and uh, yes, it's it's, uh, it's, uh, it's been perfectly. Uh, and after uh, that, it was occupied concert. as the ministry's building, actually. Yes, and yes. now it's the museum Open. for the city Absolutely. of Taif, and it's it's great. Indeed. Really. So Shubra Palace would be one, but when it comes to but the then, beautiful sites, yes, yes. Right. So, 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 
there is one thing which is amazing. You, you, you're holding a rose. Yeah. This yes. is not a type rose, you know. It's a, it's a, the type rose is a pinkish and a yes. tiny. But this is a great place to go see the rose uh, gardens and take some pictures because you have to go. You know, they cut the roses in the early morning mm -hmm. because the, 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 the flowers come out in the in the night yes. and the, in the day they just uh, close so they come in the very early morning to close it and it's a beautiful uh, weather uh, full time in the springtime like uh, April uh, May mm -hmm. so that's one site uh, which is a good uh, place to make a photo reportage right. but there are also my favorite uh, areas there, there is Alhada escarpment yeah you know, of course at the top of the but my favorite area is the Shafa? Ashafa, Ashafa. Mm -hmm. but not not the exact Ashafa village with the kind of ring road. No, there is a, some other roads going in the mountains with a tiny uh, housing and uh, mm. local people, and this is kept a little bit more uh, wild right. and uh, and it's really right. uh, beautiful. And I always wish I, I, I sometimes I talk with Ahmed. It would be great to have a protected area there and uh, maybe of course with the, the, the consultation with the local people not to have any kind of trouble but maybe Endurance, why not yes. a protected area to release Nepal you know? yes indeed definitely because the site is, is really and also at the same time uh, Mr. Oliver when people go to these areas they would get to see a beautiful uh, species of the wildlife which is actually the monkeys they would get to see so <laughs> many monkeys all around and I believe that monkeys really really excite the children and actually talking about the children we see the children on the screen having a great time in Kyle's Heart Mall where they're in the fun area actually having a great time on the rides but uh, the thing is that with all the modernization that we have which is surrounding us I believe it's a great idea for us to be giving the eyes of our children a break and to introduce them to the beautiful sights of nature and to the wildlife and I believe that monkeys would be really a true joy for the children to witness where they could be sharing their bananas <laughs> and a lot of different kind of things with the monkeys and they could be taking photographs even with the monkeys I believe that would be really a unique experience for the children as well as for the families yes. and the photography enthusiasts as well true exactly right. I do agree now sir before we go so, sir, I'm very interested in knowing, uh, because before the report you said that you go all, all over the, let's say, the kingdom sometimes to make your work, uh, let's say, complete, or let's say to uh, have make, to make sure you have a complete job. Can you tell us a bit about your work, sir, you, the pictures you take, the audios that you get, gather about? Yeah. Uh, actually, I used to uh, travel a lot, especially all the first years when I uh, arrived. I arrived in 95. And, uh, mm -hmm. All the first years I used to travel a lot in all the different protected areas uh -huh, because uh -huh. right now we have a network of uh, I think 16 okay. uh, protected areas in the whole uh, kingdom excellent. and uh, I've been uh, I think to almost all of them okay, excellent. to uh, just to uh, have a stock footage you know and then being able to to use this uh, footage so these years I'm more in studio to, mm. to uh, do lots of graphic uh, work and things okay, like that because when you do a website or uh, authoring a DVD yes, uh, yes. editing a thing you need to spend the time in the of studio course, of course. and uh, yes. but I'm going to uh, plus I build my family at mm -hmm. the same time yes, that's good. and uh, now I'm willing to go back into the field mm -hmm. because I'm shifting uh, you know in video you working for TV you have uh, some steps in technology that's good, that's so good, that's 10 good. years ago we passed from analogy yes, to uh, no, digital exactly. and now I waited a few years and this year inshallah we will, we will shift to uh, high definition uh, so it means I have to go back all uh -huh. around to try to, <laughs> to renew the footage uh, stock mm -hmm. and be able to uh, make new uh, films that's in a high definition that's excellent I, I think it's a very exciting uh, actually job that you do but very also important sir uh, I know you produce a lot of DVDs, I know you produce a lot of interaction and methods for people to understand yes. uh, not only the research center but also to understand the wildlife in general. Now, uh, my question to you sir is, have you, what is the response you get from people? Because uh, when, when you get a response from people, when you get the feedback from what people think about the, the DVD production that you do, that actually encourages you to do more. So, what was people's response towards that? Did they like it? Did they understand it? Did they find it interesting? Did they find it boring? What do you think? 
Yes, I, I, uh, I have. I mean, uh, being modest, I have a good response on my uh, on my work, uh -huh. and uh, I feed from that. Okay, uh, good. Because I need to a uh, feedback yes, you need to know to, how to, to orientate uh, uh, my my work. True, but, true, uh, true. I know, for instance, that uh, one of the latest uh, film I uh, did about big predators, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. most most particularly about the the, the problematic of uh, local people killing uh, big predators oh, like the hyena okay. and the yes, wolves yes. and it's a, it's a huge problem okay and it's not easy at all to uh, to uh, handle this mm -hmm. problem but i know that it's a short film True. very dynamic maybe 15 minutes and i know that the response of the children is very good too excellent they, 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 they like it very much mm. and uh, other uh, products uh, mm. also but yes. i i need this uh, feedback yes. because i i always uh, lead my uh, work yes. according to this. Uh, That's this no, I'm sure exciting. Oliver, yeah, mm. you're saying something, Diana? No, I'm saying it's very exciting. I mean, yeah. because uh, as I said, people are visual and pictures and of course, uh, especially videos have so much more than just random uh, words or texts. So I think it's really important for people to give you your feedback or your response so you could know how to uh, continue your work yes. on. I do believe Certainly. that. Certainly. Now, uh, Mr. Oliver, what I would like to ask you, Diana, as we've been speaking to him about his stay and his time in Saudi Arabia and especially in Taif City. Now, Mr. Oliver, you come from France and France is a beautiful country. Now, uh, let's say coming to Saudi Arabia, especially coming to a city which is very unspoiled with the beauty that it has because uh, Taif, I would say it is a city which is frequented by a lot of tourists from around the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, but at the same time it has unspoiled beauty and amazing breathtaking locations. So now what would you like to say to our viewers when it comes to coming to the city of Taif and to going around these beautiful areas? What would you like to share from your experiences with our viewers? The same like what I shared about the for the photographers. I think uh, Taif has a few sites inside the city are worth uh, seeing really especially uh, Shobra Palace, but there are also some old buildings which are very interesting. Right. There is the old uh, fireman uh, brigade uh, building, which is nice also. There is an old dam, uh, mm, yes. uh, nice to, uh, to, to see. And uh, yes, there is a lot to do because uh, you, you have this uh, Al Hada escarpment, which is a great Indeed. site also for bird watchers. Mm. Uh, every winter we have uh, migrating uh, birds of prey wow. uh, flying over mm. this uh, escarpment as a uh, passage. Indeed. Now, Mr. Oliver, uh, 15 years is a long time. Yes. So now, Taif City is one of the cities that uh, you, you, you're living in. But did you get a chance to go around to other cities of the kingdom? Yes, of course. I know quite well uh, Jeddah. Jada. And other cities I, I'm, I'm passing through because of my uh, field uh, trip. So, but Jada I, I used to go uh, regularly. Yes. Certainly. Now, what is it about Saudi Arabia that has kept you here? What is it that you would say is so unique about the kingdom? Well, apart, From your that, apart that I met my wife here, it's okay. <laughs> a good reason to stay. Uh, uh, for me, it's great because it's it's a huge country, you know. And when you come from Europe, Europe is overcrowded now. Indeed. You know, I love I love my country, of course. Uh, this is uh, no no doubt about that. But there is a certain uh, uh, appeal from for contrast, you know. When you come from, uh, I'm sure that uh, you living in the uh, Arabian Peninsula, you you like to go to green uh, country uh, in Europe or uh, wherever. But for, for us, at least for me, there is the appeal of the desert, you know. Yeah. There is nothing like a sand dune. And uh, we have a protected area in, uh, in the Rubal Khali, and this is one of the places Khali, I yes, love the, 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 the most in the, in the kingdom, really. Rubal Khali, it's okay. Really, yeah. So, there, so there, there is a, an appeal from the desert, you know. Mm. And this is because we don't have this in a, in a yeah, absolutely. And if you actually go to the desert at night time, people say that you would get to feel the desert whispers to you, it exactly. talks to you. Exactly. This is uh, a feeling that uh, I really uh, had here in, in these years uh, in the field in, in Saudi Arabia. It's just to sleep outside 
on a bed camp or on the ground and just watch the, the sky. And when you are in the Rubal Khali, there is absolutely no light pollution from uh, cities. And, uh, wow. So it's fantastic. Really. It's so beautiful. Rubal Khali is this going to be another great destination for a lot of people. Of course, yes. Most, yes. I think Saudi Arabia has so much to offer. And I think just when you know what places to see, that's also going to be something exciting to do. Look at the excitement going on in Taif. Uh, you guys, uh, lots of excitement, especially the kids since the school is over, since exams uh, are over, lots of kids are actually here at the mall enjoying their time with their families. And you cannot help but notice the excitement going on uh, in their faces. So we do hope, of course, you bring your family here down to the city of Mall, the city of uh, Taif, especially to the heart of Taif Mall, where lots of excitement is going on and you can actually feel uh, the, the joy of the summer coming up so we do hope you'll be coming up and you do actually have the opportunity of uh, meeting us here in uh, the mall where we're, we're going to come to you live until Wednesday the, that is after that we'll be moving on to other parts of cities here in the, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia but very quickly with you Mr. Olivier that I would like to ask you sir is that since you've been here for a very long time and since you are an expert in graphics, uh, especially at uh, the National Wildlife Research Center. Um, I, I believe, of course, you come into contact with so many of the endangered species. Dr. Ahmed was just telling us about the different kinds of uh, endangered species and what the center does to, uh, let's say, to breed and to let them go. So can you give us an idea, sir, of uh, what are some of your favorite uh, animals and how you have come into contact with them? Well, my favorite animal is certainly the, the Arabian leopard. Arabian leopard. Yeah, because it is an endangered uh, species and it is, it's unique. You, you can really do the, the make difference between an Arabian leopard and another. Uh, of course. Especially of course. The, the, the well known is the African one. Yes, exactly. Arabian leopard is smaller, uh, less uh -huh. yellow, and uh, it's, it's, it's so. I mean, we have several now in the in the center it's and beautiful. it's really a fantastic uh, animal <laughs> but it's not the only one of course, of course. i love the caracal uh -huh. caracal uh -huh. i don't know if you know no, the caracal is, it's, a, it's a lynx species mm -hmm. uh, from saudi arabia you find it also in uh, africa but okay, uh, it's okay with this kind of uh, uh, amazing ears you know huh, like, I, like never, a, I never heard of this one it's a lynx I've never species. heard of this one, but, but I'm you, very excited. I, I, we'll be visiting visit you. Tomorrow, you, you will <laughs> we'll see. be visiting you, so yes. it will be it's very exciting to see these. Yeah. And very fun, also very important, sir. So your job helps to increase awareness about uh, wildlife, not only animals, but of course plants and flowering as well. And as well, of course, sir, it also helps to raise awareness about the endangered species. Now, um, what do you think people can understand? Uh, about these endangered species, especially how important do you think it is to raise awareness? Uh, media is one of them, uh, yes, of is. course, and of course, DVDs and brochures are also another way. So, how do you think we can encourage people to be aware of the endangered species we have? Well, I think uh, what you're doing now is, is the, the most important. TV, uh -huh. TV uh -huh. really is the, uh -huh. the, the main uh, media to, to touch the, pe uh, the people. Yes. But uh -huh. I wish. There was more um, uh, educational uh, program in the I hope in the, so. in, I hope in so. the schools, mm -hmm. you know. I, I hope even so. for ourselves, I wish we were doing more uh, mm -hmm. activities like this. But we, we lack really uh, competencies uh, uh, in terms of uh, people exactly. being aware themselves about the mm -hmm. problematic of uh, wildlife exactly. and nature conservation exactly. and being able. Uh -huh. to uh, share this and to teach uh, children. Absolutely. There are some, there are exact... but not so many. Uh -huh. And uh, if there are some, uh, they should come to the center. I hope center so, I really hope so. We'll be coming back to the center to let to know more about and also to help uh, everyone know about more what the center does. But with this, Mr. Oviel, we'd like to thank you so much for joining us and giving us an idea. We'll be also interviewing you later on about uh, what you do exactly in the center. So we hope you'll be joining us very soon. Sure. Thank, thank you, you very much. Of course, that was Mr. Oviel. Kopia, who is, uh, of course, with the audiovisual and the graphic department at the National Wildlife Research Center. And as we said, we're coming to you live from the city of Taif. And uh, if you are here, please do come down to the heart of uh, Taif Mall, which is the Galbal Taif here in the beautiful city of Taif, to know more about this. And of course, uh, we had such a great show today where we have learned so much about uh, 
different kinds of people, different kinds of tourism, and more importantly, the wildlife, which is a part of tourism that not, not many people know about. And we do hope we'll be coming to people lots of time tomorrow at the same time, which is about Absolutely. 10 o'clock, isn't that? Indeed, Diana. And the people who would like to uh, join us in the rerun of the program, they could catch the program's rerun in the morning as well. But as Diana said, until Wednesday, we are going to be bringing to you the very best of what Pyev City through the live coverage that we are going to be doing in our program, along with the reports that we are going to be showing you from some different parts of Pyev City, as well as from the mall itself. And and of course, we have uh, our little soldiers out there who are distributing happiness around the mall or whichever area it is that they go to. And they have got these beautiful packages filled with happiness for the whole family. And they're giving away actually valuable prizes, asking mm -hmm. such simple questions. So this is going to be your unique chance to win with Summer on KSA2. With this, we hope that all of you enjoyed today's edition of our program, Summer on KSA2, in its fourth season. And inshallah, we are going to be coming to you live from uh, tomorrow until Wednesday from the beautiful city of Atayf. Make sure to join us tomorrow with myself, Saima Aziz, along with Diana Idris, and joining us, uh, our wonderful colleagues, Faris and Farasa Dosari, along with Ali Al-Uthain. Until we see you again tomorrow, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.